Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and what the hell do I know? If I sound different, I just had the flu for about three days and now it's just a raging sinus infection so if I sound a little bit different <clears throat> that is why I just want to picture this as if you know you it's a weekday and you're sick at home you get to miss school so you're curled up on the couch watching movies all day that's how I'm viewing this today so I got my Kleenexes I got my cough drops I am ready to go so if you have not read the title or seen the thumbnail I'm watching the original the 1954 white Christmas. Now, I don't mean to uh, break your hearts, but this Friday, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you this, is because I've been sick, I've actually been quarantining myself <laughs> to the upstairs of our house. Blake's been downstairs. So he doesn't get sick because, you know, we got the holidays to travel for and he has planned a trip for us to Miami. We're not going to be able to watch Home Alone 2 together just because I'm sick and I don't want to get him sick. I have felt like absolute dog poopy. It has not been cute. It has not been a cute moment for me. I know I've been teasing that me and Hubbin are going to watch it together. We couldn't get our schedules to line up and then I got sick and then we ran out of time so hopefully Hubbin will be able to join me in January or February for a review I'm not sure of what yet but life happens and then you die so <laughs> let's get on into my preview review for the 1957 white Christmas I'm not sure if this is gonna be another black and white one a lot of opinions when I said that I liked It's a Wonderful Life more than Miracle on 34th Street so let's go ahead and look up a movie poster for white Christmas so this is what I am looking at and it looks like it's not gonna be in black and white it looks like it's gonna be a Technicolor um oh so I am really excited about this because it says Bing Bing Crosby and Danny Kay which um Clark Griswold made that reference in Christmas Vacation if y'all haven't picked up on it yet I love 50s fashion and I think it's wonderful and I can kind of see by the dresses here that there's gonna be what Judging by this picture here, I can't wait to see the fashion in this movie. I love it. I don't know if this is going to be a musical. I don't know. So that's all I got. I'm really excited to watch this. Another classic under my belt. So let's get right on into it. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into this Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1954 White Christmas. Vista Vision. What does that mean? Isn't that that Netflix show? I'm kidding, that's WandaVision. <laughs> okay, dances and musical numbers. So this is a musical, so this is gonna be fun. A fun little musical moment, love that. 1944, we're going way back for this one. I love this, how fun. A little gloom and doom outside of the stage, but other than that, pretty fun. <laughs> wow, he has a wonderful voice. And look at his blue eyes. Wow. Come on, my guy, you got one job. That's to crank the little music box. Oh my God, why is this getting me emotional? It reminds me when I was in elementary school and we would write letters to soldiers, you know? Because we really had a slam bang finish cooked up for them. A slam bang finish. Never heard that. You may even learn how to march. And if you don't give him everything. <laughs> Why does this kind of remind me of Stripes? Just happened to have a slam bang finish, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, time for that slam bang finish you talked about. Oh, this is so nice for him. That's precious. It is a slam bang finish. Oh, oh, y'all better do something about that. Y'all better get somewhere. It's not bad. Nah, it's nothing but a scratch. It looks a lot bigger than a scratch. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> of all the places to hit him. Oh, I do a single, you see. Yeah, yeah. well. Ooh, that's all right. After y'all did a duet on the stage, how are you going to be like, no, I'm a, I'm a solo artist? We'll give it a whirl, huh? <laughs> okay, Captain. Good luck. Bye. He really took his arm right off that, that sling and shook his hand. He really did that. <laughs> so I'm guessing this dancing duo is what Clark Griswold was referring to. 
Oh, so he's using his old arm injury as a, as leverage. Got it. Look at those little cuties! Oh my god, I need one of those outfits! I love them! Business take care. What kind of business? Yeah, a business that doesn't involve women. You don't get distracted. Fat ones, tall ones, thin ones, doesn't make any difference as long as they're wearing... <laughs> since the oh, day I know not again oh my god you better stop that so thank you thank you Phil Davis <sighs> Lord their pants are pulled up all the way to their titties when what's left of you gets around to what's left to be gotten what's left to be gotten won't be worth getting whatever it is you've got left what <laughs> if she'll have me we'll get married we'll settle down we'll start having those nine kids ah uh, okay I can't wait to see who he falls in love with okay. what kind of an act is it is okay it the pants that? go up so high and the need... shirts go down so long I don't understand. Like, meat in the middle. Dime a dozen. Please, don't quote me the price when I haven't got the time. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. These classic burns and witty comebacks are just great. Okay, they're not ugly. Like, the dude, your friend in the army, might be dog-faced, but, like, his sisters aren't. But he didn't, did he? Did she just pour, like, a singular sip of coffee in, that, in those cups? I knew I was gonna love the fashion of this movie. Can you imagine Frapper Face having sisters as cute as that? See, that's what I said! That's what I said! We think and we act as one. I love this. I am living for this! Okay, why is this like the cutest thing ever? It's like such a fun song, but it's funny. It's so cute! I love this. Oh my oh, god! Hello. What is Should her I waist measurements? The one in the pink dress? What? Where are her organs? Yeah, he definitely doesn't look like his sisters, that's for sure. But, but would you care to dance? <laughs> Your voice, it's so cute when grown men get nervous. Mr. Wallace, since the chance of our seeing each other again is extremely remote. No! Did she just friend zone him? Oh, where are y'all dancing off to? Oh, God, the fashion. The fashion, those dresses. I love those dresses. Listen, I would simply fall in love instantly. Yes! Oh, the twirl of the dresses! I love it! <sighs> Sometimes I just wish I was born in this time period because, like, wow, what? It's just beautiful. The dancing, the... I just... Ugh. I just don't think this fashion and this kind of talent is ever going to come back, and that makes me so sad. It's just so elegant and so beautiful and just so classy and timeless, in my opinion. Okay, this is the best thing. This is the best dance number I've ever seen ever in my entire life. This is great. It's almost like I need to take a moment. That was wonderful. Take care of our friends. We're practically strangers. Yeah, well, well. No, we're friends. Shh, he's paying off your thing for your landlord, your friends. <laughs> well, it's not good, but it's a reason. Will you go on? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So instead of paying off the landlord, they're just gonna sneak him out. I love this idea. I mean, how did people keep up with each other there in these times? Like, they're about to leave and go somewhere. I mean, how do you know how to get a hold of somebody? Oh. My. God. That is so funny. Why do I feel like this is so progressive for 50, 54? I love this moment. This is so much fun. Get into it! How much more to Vermont? Vermont, who cares? Who's going to Vermont? We are. Wow, they really don't agree on anything. Warm, soft, comfortable beds were at this very moment two block. There you go, you're putting it together. The sisters. Uh, won't you have a drink or a sandwich or something? Like, look at her yeah, belt. Yeah, her belt could be like this big around. Mm, that's not very good. That's you wouldn't get very clean, but okay. I would like to know what the bartender was thinking that entire time. I would like to think that he was cleaning out one of the dishes. He's like, oh my god, these white people think about washing their hair in snow. They crazy. <laughs> Sixty-eight yesterday. Right, Sounds like East Tennessee ice cream truck still going strong in December. Okay, well this is a beautiful ski lodge. I mean, I've never been to one, but like this is so pretty. General Waverly. Sir. What a small world. What are the odds? Your first performance is tonight at 8 o'clock. Be there or I'll sue. Lord, that took a drastic turn so many different directions so quickly. Maybe we can dig up a Democrat. Oh, they stone him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like any 
decent, self-respecting housekeeper. I listened in on the other phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, get in it, both of them. Get in there. Oh, he went back for seconds. He went back for seconds. You never had any trouble packing them in, sir. Uh, people, that is, not pigs. <laughs> this movie is so witty. I am going to say that the really skinny sister, I don't, I can't remember her name right now. I hate whenever she's dancing, she continuously looks at the camera, you know, to hit her marks. And I just feel like maybe it should have been the band she was dancing with. That, cause she's the only person I get that vibe from that she hits her mark with the camera and I just feel like that breaks the fourth wall too much for me. Still having fun. Still a good time. What is a minstrel show? How? Oh my god! <laughs> Alright girl! Alright girl! Bring it! Yes! Yes! We love this! Good God, how long is your torso, baby? I just, there's so much going on, I don't know what to look at. Oh my God, her long skirt came off. God, she's so skinny, you can see her hip flexors when she walks sideways. All right, move them hips. Yes, high kicks, high kicks. I'm gonna be raw honest with y'all, I can't dance to save my life. And watching this, I wish I could, I wish I could. Listen, we are not getting a sneak peek at the show, we are getting a full on show. Oh my God, she did a front flip, a car wheel. And in the air splits. I'm so done. Wow, she really is a star of this show, isn't it? Wow, why did I freak out like they were gonna catch her? It drains the blood from the head in case you Judy, I ain't never heard that, but I've never been one to turn down a snack, so Oh, I got just a spot for you. Here, grab the cow. Grab the cow? I know he's referring to the pitcher of milk, but that's so funny to me. Okay, they're gonna have the cutest blue eyed babies. Are they gonna kiss? exactly what I'm gonna dream about tonight. Good. What you gonna dream about, girl? What you gonna dream about? I'm starting to play trombone a little too, but... <laughs> That's really funny. Well, they can't use me. No place for me. We're not fooling each other. Aww. I'm sorry, but your end's gonna thrive. The television, Ed Harrison? <laughs> That's the fella, yeah. You catch him at Radio City, I think. I tell you what, this housekeeper, she don't know what she's got herself into. Her day was totally normal, and then all these people showed up, and her life has been changed ever since. Okay. Okay, we got some contemporary movement in this. I love that. Yes, get into it. The drama of it all. Is she really tapping that fast? I just can't wrap my little brain around that. <laughs> I love this. I think this is so smart. It's so fun. Combining contemporary dance with the classics of tap. Play it up big. A real Christmas Eve show. Ma'am, mind your business. The curiosity killed the cat, ma'am, and you about to you about to get killed. All I want to do is go on your show and make a little pitch, okay? See, and now you don't have the contacts and you don't know everything, and now she's gonna ruin it. You know, schmaltz, I think they call it. They're even gonna put the general on. No, they're not. If you would have minded your own business, you'd know that's not a fact. Well, if I am, I'll resign as president of the New England chapter of Busybodies Anonymous. <laughs> At least you know you're a busybody. I fall asleep counting my blessings. Uh, well, girl, ask him about it. Don't just be a crabby patty. I mean, you shouldn't mix fairy tales with liverwurst and buttermilk. You know, we're getting too deep into metaphors. Why don't we just go ahead and talk about it straight, you know? Jeez Louise, what a little brat. Why don't you just talk? If people were just direct about their feelings, 98% of the world's mishaps would probably be handled. That's an exaggeration, but this would have been handled a lot better. Well, I, I suppose it ought to be someone that I know. Oh, that always helps. <laughs> Why is this movie so funny? I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly repulsive. <laughs> I'm not exactly repulsive. I'm sure, but I feel the same way about my Cocker Spaniel. Oh my God, that's so... Funny. Uh, now, it, it would only last two or three weeks at the worst. At the most. Uh, at the worst. Oh, my God. Don't you think we ought to kiss a little? So they're having a cast party on the house, but he's literally going bankrupt. I don't think this is a good business idea. Oh, so we're bringing back this. Oh, a little date swap. Oh, you sneaky devils. Why can't y'all just be direct? Just ask her what her problem is, and then she'd be honest about it. Clear communication would solve this right up. Well, what I'm trying to say is that Judy and I are engaged. Aww! Here we can 
it would happen to me. Yeah. Okay, she is obnoxious. I don't like her. Sure. I'd say this calls for champagne. Absolutely it does. Getting things back to, to where they were yesterday. She didn't drink to the toast, though. She didn't drink. Oh, Mark, just talk. Jeez Louise, I don't understand. Yo, is she leaving? She's leaving and not telling anybody? Good luck. OMG. And like the day before the big show? Oh, wow. Oh, stop her. Hey. You better stop her. For two reasons, personal reasons and for the show. I'll tell you what, this movie, wow, this movie delivers everything. A storyline, a plot, full-on musical numbers, singing, dancing, different types of dance. I just can't get over this. Costumes for every dance. We get everything. This movie is giving it all. She gave it to Grandpa at the station. Station? Yeah, girl, your sister kind of ran away. That's right, and when you're unhappy, I'm unhappy. After all, Bob, I... Stop it with the arm thing. Hey, Lucky, you might have been stuck with this Weirds Mobile for life. <laughs> Weirds Mobile, I'm so done. <gasps> That's a beautiful gown. I love them. Oh, shysty. Okay, I hate those gloves. Like, at first, I liked a little bit of sparkle, but now that I see them up close, I hate them run out of town because uh, Judy and Phil's engagement was phony. Yeah, girl. It's a mess. Well, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. OMG, stop playing hard to get. It's stuck well, out. I'll fix it later. I, I don't want to miss the Ed Harrison show. No, you got to miss the Ed Harrison show, my guy. Probably just a small internal muscular hemorrhage, sir. Why are you describing the worst possible things? Yeah. And now it's a great privilege to present my special guest. God, I hope Betty watches this. He can open a lodge that doesn't do well because it doesn't snow in Vermont anymore. Can't yeah, girl. Nice Wouldn't it have been easier to just ask him what the deal was instead of going off some busybody? Oh, look at all these people. Look at all these men going to help out their general. I got along very well in the army without you. It took 15,000 men to take my place. <laughs> well, wow, their relationship is very... Uh, T tension very back and forth look at him wearing him army suit him a little cutie surprise the song they sang on his last day oh man this old man cries i'm gonna cry oh my god this is so nice Oh, you missed one. Got it. Now hold on. When is Bob gonna see Betty? Oh, it's her, his first time seeing her back. Ah! I, ju I just simply don't know what's going on here, but I'm not mad at it. Oh, that's supposed to be like their lives after the army. I got it now. I got it now. <gasps> it's snow on Christmas Eve. Snow on Christmas Eve. Oh, what did she get him? Wow! That's so glamorous! Oh my god! I love them! The kids do not look like they're having a great time. The girls do not look like they're having a great time. Her knight on a white horse! That is precious! Ooh, he sure did throw that horse and started kissing. Oh, sorry, I, I can't make it. Huh? I'm gonna be very busy. I... Ooh, he's got the nine kids to make. Look, everybody, it snowed outside in a white Christmas. Aww. Uh -huh. And everybody's toasting and cheersing and having a good time. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well. Let's talk about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I thought I was getting into like another It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 34th Street vibe. White Christmas is something all on its own. And let me tell you why I think that. It's because this was more than just like a Christmas movie with a nice plot. This movie had singing. This movie had a plot. This movie had 
such entertaining characters. This movie had all different kinds of dance in it. I just think it's wonderful. I just had a great time. And you know what? I want to put It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 34th Street, and White Christmas up against each other right now. And if I had to rank them, I would say that I would watch It's a Wonderful Life and A White Christmas every year. But I don't, I would have to say that they're tied for first only because they're so different. Because It's a Wonderful Life has such a strong individual message and meaning about self-worth and sense of community and coming together. And then this one is just so entertaining in every aspect of entertainment, in my opinion. Singing, dancing, plot as far as a movie goes. And then just, it's just beautiful. Like it just had, I just think it's great. Miracle on 34th Street, I would have to place as like second to both of them because it's just straight Christmas. Like it's just straight Santa. Whereas these other two, Wonderful Life and White Christmas, are really about a sense of coming together and community and interpersonal relationships. But as far as entertainment value goes, this was great to watch. I just had a great time. No wonder this is a straight classic. Um, five out of five stars on this one for me. Entertaining all the way through. Because if you weren't dancing or singing, then you were worried about Betty and Bob. It's just very cute. And they came together, they helped a general friend. I just think that's wonderful. And I feel like it was really great to throw in because, because in Christmas Vacation, Clark Griswold made the comment about them dancing together in this movie. So I, I now understand that this was a reference to White Christmas. I think it absolutely stands the test of time. And I just had the best time! I think it's just the best. If you have not seen the 1954 White Christmas, you should do that. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around so you can catch everything coming up on into the new year. Links to social media down below. Like I said in the preview review, but if you missed it, because I got sick with the flu, mine and Hubbin's schedules couldn't line up so we could watch Home Alone 2 together. Hopefully he can join me in the near future for something in January or February since I've been quarantining upstairs trying to make sure he doesn't catch the flu. So I'll see you right back here for that. And until then, have a great week. Bye.